Hey everyone, this is Dave at West Texas Bugs, and uh, today I'm going to tie a, um, it's a big lake fly, uh, it's called AP Emerger, uh, it's a Denny record pattern, AP stands for all purpose, and I'm going to showcase a bunch of new Simperfly tying materials, so let me get started. So the hook I'm going to put in the vise is going to be a Moonlit, uh, this is a MLO 53, going to be in a size 10. You can see it's uh, a little short. 2x strong, 1x short. So um, I like using a heavier hook for this fly because I do want it to sit a little lower in the water. All right, so for thread, I'm going to use um, the ADOT uh, brown olive uh, waxed from Simperfly and I'm going to start my thread about two-thirds back from the eye bring my thread all the way to the back right to the bend and then for a tail I'm going to go ahead and use um, just a mallard flank that's been dyed kind of olive and I'm going to take a pretty good chunk off. I don't want a really long tail but I want a really thick wing case. So I'm going to take off a pretty good chunk. I'm going to tie this in. Like I say I don't want um, <clears throat> I don't want a real long tail but you know right about right about the length of the shaft is probably fine. Trap that in in the very back. That looks good. And then I'm going to wrap forward and I'm going to trap down the butt ends of this feather right on top. If it starts carrying around I can just straighten it back out. I'm going to bring it right down to where I started my thread. Okay, for a rib, uh, instead of wire, I'm going to use this, uh, this is Semperfly's uh, flat tinsel in black and gold. You can see it's, uh, it's pretty cool stuff. I'm going to use this for my rib. Got some great colors in this uh, flat tinsel. and tie that in right up here on top. Bring it over. Okay, now for dubbing. It's also a new product. Uh, this is uh, the K-Pock dubbing. And I, uh, I love tying with this stuff. I've never had any experience with K-Pock dubbing before. Uh, it's one of the easiest dubbings I've ever I've ever tied with. Um, it does float really well so if you're wanting your emerger to sit a little lower in the water you might want to think about a different type of dubbing uh, but for me um, I don't mind these flies on a lake sitting up kind of high. Um, I find that when the fish are up on them that especially lake fish and it's just kind of sitting there it's not floating down the river um, you know, they'll come they'll come up and eat it so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get my dubbing on this stuff goes on so easy and so tight it's really a pleasure to work with okay so I'm gonna go ahead and bring my noodle forward and the color that I chose you know this is you can play with your color pattern uh, a lot with this fly I took the uh, Adams gray and I'm kinda gonna uh, with this fly, I'm kind of doing a gray um, olive theme. So just go ahead and bring your bring your dubbing up and do a nice dubbed body. And then I'll go ahead and lift my wing case, and I'm going to wrap my rib. I'm going to counter wrap my rib.
that off. Go ahead and get my thread. I'm going to tie it off right in front of my wing case. Okay. So now for my thorax, this is another new Semperfly product. This is called uh, Dirty Bug Yarn. And um, this is in a color called Caddis Gray. I'm just going to take a little piece off. And I'll show you why I like this so much. Just a small piece. You can also, if you're tying smaller flies, this is, this is um, um, intertwined, so you can, actually, you can actually pull it apart and take two strands, and you can tie a smaller fly, or you could do more wraps. Um, for this fly, I can go ahead and leave them together. It's pretty versatile stuff. Well, throw a half hitch, and I can wrap. I want to kind of build it up a little bit, not a whole lot, because I'm going to uh, I'm going to brush it out. Trap down the ends. And then I'm going to take my Velcro brush, and at this point you want to make sure and get all your wing butts out of the way because the brush will do a number on them. And I'm just going to uh, try to get all four sides and bug it out. And I'm going to kind of just preen all those fibers back and bring all of my wing case fibers forward. And I want to kind of flatten that out with my thumbnail just to kind of get it as broad as I can. And trap it down. I'm going to wrap behind. Okay, and there's your body. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my soft hackle. And for this, I'm just, I have a uh, partridge skin here that is, uh, it's been dyed uh, pretty bright green, actually, but uh, more of a yellow, really, uh, when you really look at it. And I'm just going to take. One feather, and then um, yeah, it's showing up pretty bright on the camera. It's probably not as bright as it looks on the camera in real life. I'm going to strip it down, and then I'm going to I'm going to tie this one in by the tip. I tie them in both ways, uh, by the stem and by the tip. This stem is really thick, and uh, so I'm going to probably just tie this one in by the tip. So I just kind of Christmas tree it like you would with any kind of soft tackle. And then I'm going to come in and cut this off, I'm leaving just a tiny bit, and that's going to be my tie-in. I'll lay that right here. Go ahead and put some good tight wraps on this. Bring it back and then bring my thread back up to the front. Throw another half inch. And then I'm going to take my hackle pliers. Grab this stem. Stand it up and kind of tease everything back. And 
then start my wraps. Just kind of tease everything back as you go. And it is a big lake fly, so I don't really have to be shy about doing too many wraps like I would on a on a small, um, you know, a river uh, soft tackle, a size 14, 16. I'll go ahead and tie off my stem. It's three nice little wraps, and I'll go ahead and cut my stem out. Okay, and so now I want to go ahead and grab all of these fibers, barbules, and pull them back. And now I can create a head. I want a fairly strong head on this fly. If you got one you can't get, it's okay because you you can get rid of that. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and whip finish. This is a Stonfo uh, Thompson type style whip finisher. It's kind of fun to use. A little different than the Mattarelli. Just as functional. Okay, and then a little bit of uh, Add cement. This is uh, the Solar Res Bone Dry. Nice and thin with a nice thin little brush applicator. And that's it. That's the uh, all-purpose emerger. Uh, like I said, it's a Denny Rickards pattern, um, just tied with some different materials and uh, a lot of fun to fish. You can tie it smaller and fish it in rivers. Uh, you can probably fish it in a river in this size as well. Uh, but it's really, uh, it was designed as a lake fly and uh, fishes well. And so that's it. Thanks for watching.